In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between dependencies and dev dependencies in a package.json file. Now, this is a question or a problem a lot of beginners have with making a Node or JavaScript project. So let's go ahead and clear this confusion up right now. This is a package.json file I've pretty much copied and pasted from a project of mine. This is the project. It's a React component library in an NPM package hosted on GitHub. And I've chosen this example for a specific reason. If you were to create a package or a library and host it on NPM or, or GitHub, what you have in your dependencies and dev dependencies section is very important. If you go back to VS Code, what this basically means is if somebody were to install this package, automatically it would install everything that's in dependencies. So it will install React and React DOM. It won't install any of these things. And this is assuming that this package needs these dependencies to run properly. So if my package needed something like start components or emotion to run, then I'd put it in here. And then when somebody else downloads it, then React, React DOM and start components will install automatically. But nothing in here will install automatically. And the person who installs this library doesn't need any of this stuff. This is stuff that I need to help me develop the code properly. So we've got React testing library to test my components. We've got TypeScript and we have a few Babel React presets. So let's say you're making a website, a React website for a ice cream company. I don't think it matters where you put your dependencies because it's not gonna be a library that someone has to install. So you can essentially put everything inside dependencies or vice versa, put everything in dev dependencies. It doesn't really matter because when you run npm install, it will install both dependencies and dev dependencies. But if you were to have your, your website for ice cream and you wanted to use that as a template for other people to use when they're making their website and you wanted to host it as a package, then it makes sense what you put into these brackets because the person who's going to install your library will definitely need React, will definitely need anything else like start components or Redux or whatever you have, they will need that for your library to work. But anything you use for testing, they, they won't really need. So I hope this clears the confusion up between dependencies and dev dependencies. I haven't spoken about optional or peer dependencies in this video, I think that's a bit much, but we'll leave it here for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then please feel free to give it a thumbs up.